everybody going to make a quick little stylized looking thing i think it's like a cheater way around uh making something stylized so just go ahead and drop in a uv sphere and we kind of play around this thing a little bit i'm gonna like select every other loop here and then i'm going to do the select edge loops which you can find in the control e menu but for my add-on you know just trying to make things a little bit easier all right so that looks pretty cool and i'll have to search for it probably i don't think i got a shortcut menu on this version and extrude faces along normals hold down shift so it doesn't get too crazy on you all right that looks pretty cool and now i want to grab this loop right here so i'll select that and then I'll go ahead and select the link, hit F, scale that in, extrude it down, maybe throw a loop cut or two right there. Yeah, it's pretty good. So it doesn't have to be too crazy. And then of course I've got the uh, custom bevel, just throw a bevel on, add the preset bevel, it's all set. It says don't you don't have auto smooth, but you just click shade smooth and it uh, gets rid of that for you. And so I'm just gonna go back into edit mode, control E, and I'm going to mark my freestyle edges, excuse me, mark all my freestyle edges. Then I'll go ahead and drop a camera in the scene, something like that. Wherever it went, don't know, but let's see, Alt, Y, Active Camera to View. I got that on my shortcut too, because I was really sick of looking for all these buttons, you know, so G, Z, Z, bring it back. And that's kind of cool. Make sure the cursor is to world origin. Just drop in a plane, scale it up, uh, G and Z. Maybe go ahead and select that edge and bring it up on the Z. Hit A for all, Control B. Hey, that didn't really work. Control B, there we go. Get my little infinite uh, background there, if you will. And then I can just shade that smooth too. And that'll kind of get rid of everything. Let's go ahead and look at this in cycles, turn off the scene world, and I'm going to pull up in HDRI, just like whatever, doesn't matter. And get out of there, I want this one. So this one's got the edge mark on it, and what I want to do is come over to the render area. And I'm going to come down to freestyle, and I got freestyle edges. And I'm going to go ahead and select and turn that on. And then I'm going to come up here to the view layer properties, come on down, all the way down. And then I've got freestyle um, line set here. I've got all kind of stuff. They've got the edge mark. Uh, there's a bunch of different options. Just kind of go through here and kind of play around with them, see what you like. Uh, let's go ahead and just hit F12 to render that. And the HDR is doing absolutely nothing for me. Kind of figured that. So I'll go ahead and drop in a spotlight, G and Z to bring that up. Go to the light properties and probably make this spot angle like 90. And yeah, okay, so there we go. Something like that. And then I'm just gonna put a point light over here and bring the radius to zero. Maybe out just a little bit. There we go. Something like that. Kind of bring that up to give it some different angle lighting. Looks nice. Looks cool. All right, so I'm going to bring this light up a touch more. Maybe whiten it just a little bit more too. I like that kind of look. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and render this and see what we get oh it did render out just didn't i didn't wait long enough and i didn't have enough light in the scene so by the time of the end of the render it's going to start showing the edges and actually rendering them which i think is pretty cool so you can kind of get a stylized look here so probably you could come in here maybe bring the camera in a little bit closer and I don't like that setting, so I'll drop down camera on the little camera angle here and put it like 48 just to kind of bring it out because it's just you have to kind of boss it, it's not gonna do what you want necessarily. And uh, let's see, I like to hit A for all on this one. And let's see, did I put a subdivide in here? 
I probably took my subdivide out. So I gotta put that subdivide back in because like I said, I hate looking for stuff. And I'll subdivide that and then I wanna hit Control E and mark the freestyle edges again. Go back out and go ahead and render this. Now you can control how many of these lines actually show up. There's a setting for that. Let me see. Okay, so the crease angle. So like I could bring this to say 90 and culling will definitely uh, crunch some of the stuff that's not in the camera. So you won't actually see that. And so I just kind of re-render this like 500 times. There's some other settings. You can kind of play around with how they uh, end up looking. Anyways, just that is cool. Just want to show you guys. You can kind of play around with this thing and see what you can get it to do. And then, of course, I'll show you one more thing here. If you select Ridge and Valley and go ahead and hit Render, it'll give you something a little bit different. Shouldn't take more than a couple seconds. This NVIDIA is so fast, even for a little laptop. So there you go. You get that and... I think that if you, let's see, if we render both, let's see. I'm just curious, you know. I've been programming and doing this stuff for the last couple few weeks. I haven't been doing a lot of tutorials, so I'm like, I'm really kind of thirsty for doing some tutorials, man. I, I love doing this. Yeah, so you get a little bit of different uh, look there. So anyways, we can go on and on with this. This is one of those things you just go test yourself once you know it. Uh, smash that subscribe, smash that like button. Uh, see you guys very soon. And yep, yeah, and that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial lesson.